Super Springs are a self-adjusting suspension stabilizing system for vehicles with rear leaf springs. They are designed to help level loads, reduce rear end sag, and minimize body roll, all while not compromising ride quality. With the wheel and tire off on the rear of this ProMaster, we're gonna begin installing the Super Springs. First thing we need to do there is put the polyurethane pad right in the center of the leaf spring between the two U-bolts. Next step is we're gonna remove this bolt and roller assembly from the shackle on the Super Springs and position this up on top of the leaf springs for installation. With the super spring centered on the pad and the leaf spring, we're gonna to go towards the front of the vehicle and install the bolt and roller assembly into the shackle on the lowest hole. With the bolt and roller assembly hand tightened on the front, you can see the next problem we're gonna have is getting that rear shackle down low enough below the leaf spring to install that bolt and roller assembly. Super Springs has a few tools that will help you do that. We don't have access to those and the C-Clamp we have in our shop is just too small. So what we have ended up doing is using a U-bolt that we purchased from the hardware store to help us bring that Super Spring down closer to the leaf spring. With the nuts on the U-bolt, we're gonna slide that towards the rear of the vehicle and help lower that Super Spring product down. We're going to compress that super spring down towards the leaf spring so we can get the bolt and roller assembly into that bottom hole. With the super spring completely compressed, we now are able to get that bolt and roller assembly through that lower hole. With the super spring centered and seated correctly on the roller assembly, we can now take that U-bolt off. Now that both bolts are in the shackle assembly, we can just tighten those down a little bit further. We don't want to over tighten these or torque them down too tight, but just snug. We're also at this point double checking that we have everything as it should be. It's centered on the pad in the middle. We're clear of any brake lines or AC lines. And for us, we want to be on this lower hole. We could go to that hole that's a little bit higher if we needed any more ground clearance or lift for the vehicle, but for what we're doing, this should be perfect. 